Wow. Core mode sucks, dude. That's another time limit game where I ran around. This time I can't even use my guns. This time I have to use whatever the f*** you give me. Don't even get to use my guns anymore. I have to use what the game says I should use because I guess I'm just too good. Also, these are not my levels because I am definitely one like 230. And so, uh, what's going on with your game, Call of Duty? Because uh, everything's broken. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. Got up this morning. I was like, I'm going to get you guys some sweet, sweet core mode knifing gameplays. I logged into Call of Duty and I was greeted with the fact that I cannot select anything. I can select any default class. I get default class one. I can select any number of my custom classes and I get default class one. No matter what I do, I'm stuck using default class one. And for some reason, I'm level one. My entire enemies are level one. My entire teams are level one. Everybody's running around with a default class one. Except for the odd guy that doesn't seem to be having this bug. This first clip is from the very first game I loaded into today on Scrapyard. And I was so confused. I was like, did I accidentally, like, accidentally favorite that I would use default class one? Did I break my class setups? Because every once in a while, you know, COD does an update and it just like messes up all your settings. I looked, of course, Call of Duty did not do an update. Just Call of Duty being a live service game. You know, live service will get the fuck out of the way because you never know what you're going to get. Load in one day, you might be banned. Load in the next day, you might not be banned. You might get this gun, might get that gun, might have fun, might not have fun. Call of Duty is a live service game meant to screw with you. Hey, Call of Duty, don't call it a live service game if you're always constantly just patching your own fucking mess ups, man. I'm so sick of this stuff, man. I'm so tired of like weapon challenge is not counting even though you clearly did it. I got 77 kills in one game of a fucking domination with the, the, the first combat knife. I only got 30 that counted. 77 only knife kills. I've been doing the Karambit now for about four or five days. You guys have seen the amount of kills I've gotten with it. I just finished yesterday the 50 kills needed to go to the next level where you now have to get the tacticals. This game is so miserably fucking broken. It's not even funny. It is so pathetic how little these devs do. And then you got those losers that crawl out of the woodworks going, well, what did you expect when they fired 2000 developers? Well, I expected that they got fired because they didn't do their job. And we're seeing the repercussions of the fact that they didn't do their job right now. Because now the people that are left have to take accountability for the fact that they're not doing their job so now the remaining people that got to keep their jobs now have to actually do their jobs but they're not the right person for the job they were just the right freaking person for the algorithmic hiring process so they're not actually able to do the job because they suck at their job there's still over a thousand developers working on call of duty modern warfare 3 yet we still have the same issues we've had the entire time Oh, Shorty, you need to have compassion and some respect for these people. They were real developers who lost their jobs. I don't. I simply don't because this game is so broken and every single time they seem to update it, it seems to break even more. Every time they say they fix something, they break something else. Every time they add something, they break something else. Those 19,000 developers were fired because they weren't needed and the remaining people aren't the best person for the job. They're the best person for the algorithmic hiring process of the job. The problem with the current state of the world is we no longer hire based off of the best people. We just hire to just fill the number slot that make us look more diverse you shouldn't be able to lay off 2,000 people still have a thousand people working for you and have a game that is this pathetically broken this doesn't even make sense it's it doesn't count our levels anymore and it only lets us use default class one i guess everybody's at least going to be on the same page except for the one or two people that get to use their one-shot snipers and i'm thinking in my head that the reason why i can't use my default class is because the game thinks i'm level one even though i'm almost level 300 so i haven't actually unlocked custom slots yet and then it probably won't let me use anything in there anyway because of the fact that I haven't unlocked that gun yet. Just don't get it, man. I remember when there's a time in the world where you could go to Blockbuster, pull a game off of a shelf, go home, load it into your Xbox, and play the damn game, and the game just worked. Didn't have these games as a live service, which, by the way, Call of Duty as a live service is a complete and utter fucking joke, and you have to be stupid to think that it's an actual live service game. It's a live star service store. Everything else that you've gotten so far has been literally re remastered or rehashed content. Then they remove content to give back to you later. Do you like gun game? We're going to give it to you for uh, two weeks, and then we're going to pull it out for two months and we'll give it back to you as new content because we changed the way that the rotation of the guns work so even though it's the same maps the same style of gameplay we just changed the way the guns rotate so now it's new content the whole concept of live streaming and live concept gaming live service gaming has been lost on these developers because they didn't take it as like hey let's make a world that is constantly growing with constant updates and live events and things that the community can do together and have a hub and do all this fun stuff together no 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 scummy developers like call of duty went haha we know 
we can do we can just make the game pay to win under the guise of a live service game that way when things are broken because it's now pay to win we'll just patch it a couple weeks later and then we'll sell them something else that's broken a live service game should not be only a live service game for updates it shouldn't constantly be a live service game to fix problems live service gaming was meant to be a constant world that grows and builds there's no world inside of call of duty it's a bunch of disjointed maps with a bunch of thrown together freaking commercials running around getting you figuring out who's got the best pay to win gun and then when we have issues like this it's just broken and then we got to wait for whenever the hell they get off their stupid asses to go fix it i want to point out to the losers who keep defending the 2000 developers that were fired the best Call of Duties that were made were made with 300 developers or less. You had 10 times the amount of developers that worked on this game. On a game that is literally remastering maps for another game. Using maps from the base game of this DLC game to then give you content. Using the same guns from previous games. And now are remastering maps from previous games to give to you as new content inside of Modern Warfare 3. 3,000 people are needed to just copy and paste. That's pathetic. You can't even get the goddamn game to work. And you got 3,000 developers at one point just is working on skins for the game let's be honest the skin d re r d department is definitely bigger than anything else technical support when they broke it with season one reloaded had to be farmed out to other f you know fit places around the world other development studios to fix so basically call of duty goes it's a live service game we'll make the skins but we're gonna farm out the troubleshooting it stuff to a bunch of random developers around the world to fix it we'll make sure that the item store is on rotation but we'll just reuse mats from previous games because these cod people are fucking stupid and they'll eat it all up we we'll like oh my my god i can't wait to play in farmhouse 18 just played on that last year I bought modern warfare 2 remember the two-year cycle game that we were supposed to get i think what i'm getting at is that the, i'm just sick and tired of all the lying inside of the game i'm sick and tired of the people that defend the game i'm sick and tired of the, all the people that just think that this game is amazing you think this game is amazing because you played it before last year they just added movement mechanic they could have just added in a patch to modern warfare 2 and had a two-year cycle game with massive expanding worlds call of duty needs to sit down really hit the drawing boards again and really figure out what they're gonna do here because they're not a live service game warzone maybe is a live service game maybe like if at the loosest sense of the word you can say it's a live service game because right now you got zombie shit going on in warzone i don't even understand what's going on in warzone anymore i go into warzone i first off have to go work look at google figure out what meta classes are going on in warzone then i gotta go build that class then i gotta load into warzone and i run around there's fucking goddamn zombies at some places there's random thermal wall hack fucking shit you can find on the ground speed boost wall hacks thermal vision double headshot damage and that shit just in a chest man it gave you hacks in warzone warzone got more zombies content than zombies did the one mode that should be able to build a pretty flushed out world in instead you just got dmz for the second year in a row and on top of all that other stuff you got loadout drops which makes the battle royale completely useless when everybody's just running around with multiplayer guns then on top of that you got the announcer that's constantly going enemy dropping in on your location well, now half the time when you kill somebody the guy goes we're gonna mark the rest of his team on the map for you just in case you were bad enough and you didn't have any game sense you could just look at your map and be able to run him down or you could just interrogate him and then you'll know where they are too or you can look at the constant uav span and you shoot somebody and they could just revive immediately because they have a freaking resupply beacon or whatever it's called warzone is like the worst battle royale ever it is not even a battle royale it should just be called giant multiplayer with permadeath a little off topic but it does kind of tie into the topic because warzone gets these updates and buffs more often than anything else but the developers don't take time to think hey how is this going to affect multiplayer if we nerf and buff this gun because warzone players are having an issue with it how will this affect the rest of the game they go no we just need to focus on warzone because it's the free-to-play mode which means anything that people buy for warzone is 100 profit I've seen this happen a few times where like the rgl80 got a buff for warzone and it broke multiplayer and they didn't even care then they nerfed it for multiplayer and then warzone was like oh man now it sucks but they were like well we can't really fix it either way so we're just gonna leave it the way it is what i'm getting at is that this game is always broken and live service games shouldn't be just broken games that get patched all the time it should be bringing you content you should want maps on rotation there should be way more maps than this i don't even know why call of duty can't just sit down and go you know what we're gonna take uh black ops 2 maps you guys are gonna get a week of black ops 2 maps and then the next week black ops 3 maps and black ops 4 maps and then we're gonna do like modern warfare 3 maps they could literally just pick every call of duty for the last almost two decades and have maps rotate through the biggest problem with call of duty is the fact that it's a live service game but it has no soul it has no direction it has no identity you load into a map you can see Nicki minaj a rat a bunny rabbit a flaming skull trooper and rick grinds from freaking the walking dead all on your team and what do those people have in common nothing literally fucking nothing it's just a commercial you're playing we're playing a commercial now whenever they break their game it's 99 of the time the fact that they're trying to fix something for warzone 
At this point, I think they should just make Call of Duty completely free to play, as we already have a pay to win Call of Duty. We already have a pay to win Battle Royale, and we already have a pay to win multiplayer. And well, sorry, Zombies community, you guys get left out of 99% of the stuff, so I don't even factor you guys into anything because you guys don't even get Zombies content during a Walking Dead seasonal event. No, 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 no. You guys just get Rick Grimes to run around in your zombie world, and they went, that's good enough. Thanks for the Battle Pass money. We live in a weird state, man, where the game can just be broken, and for some reason, that's acceptable. Or before, if a game was broken, that game live or died within the fact that it was broken or not. There was many games that were released back in 20 years ago that if they did not do good and word of mouth was not good, that game failed. And I gotta be honest with you, if this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 released 20 years ago, this game would have 100% failed. Because on launch, the thing barely fucking worked. On launch, it was the same game as it was the year before. It was just with different fucking goddamn movement mechanics. Which back in 20 years ago, man, we would have just stayed with our own game because there were so many good games coming out back then. You had a game every two weeks you could have gone and bought. And we went to waste our money on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 a year later that only had slightly better movement mechanics. Call of Duty's in a rough state right now. I don't give a shit about these YouTubers who one day they say Call of Duty's dead and the very next day they say Call of Duty's not dead. Call of Duty is on life support. It is limping. I'm starting to see that the player base is smaller and smaller every time I play. I'm starting to see the same names every time I play. The same people. The matchmaking is getting longer and longer. I was playing Re Rebirth Island the other day and I was sitting there waiting for a queue for forever. Seeing a shift in the market from players going, we're done with this like Call of Duty Activision bullshit where it's a live service game, which actually just means we're going to constantly update our store every 24 hours. To people going and playing indie games. Why do you think Helldivers blew the fuck up? Because it's a good game that doesn't ask you for constant monies. It's not panhandling to you. I think you're going to see a lot of other games coming out over this year that are going to do the exact same thing. And these live service piece of shit fucking copy and paste games like Call of Duty are going to have to panic and go, whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell's our player base going? Oh, they're going over to games that aren't trying to rip them off. They're going over to games that aren't constantly in a broken state. They're going over to single player experiences again because they can have fun over there because there's a flushed out world that makes sense. Playing Warzone and going up against the boys, Nicki Minaj, Snoop Dogg, some bunny rabbits and a fucking turtle doesn't make any sense and it makes a disjoint connection for the player to the war that they are fighting fortnite call of duty you stupid fucks it made sense to have all these skins because they made the world work around those skins and it complemented the world your game it makes no sense you got the boys running around you got homelander running around with a freaking american flag on his back going up against a bunny rabbit throwing egg grenades with Nicki minaj the fire team partner screaming out random rap verses followed up by a crystal skull blue guy running behind them and now we're at to the point where we have comic book characters running around in your fucking military shooter battle royale i'm just tired of it man i'm tired of waking up to go get you guys content and i gotta fight the game instead of playing the game i'm over here stuck using default class one because the game doesn't even know what level i am anymore how do you lose that simplest of form information how is that even a possibility you know you just you just keep the data there and i'll always be the same level instead of being level one unable to even use my weapons uh, we, we were like four months into the cycle of this game we're at season two now and we're having these basic issues come on now call of duty you even have to admit you're robbing us ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoyed the content i'm gonna need you to hit that like button don't forget to hit subscribe join the rant army join the best damn army on all of youtube and as always leave a comment down below a special thank you to our channel members today we are going to be working on a vlog for you guys over on the gaming channel the game traveling gamer channel we're starting to work towards that so thank you for helping fund this stream. Until next time though guys, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Where I don't know what we'll be ranting about, but I'm sure I'll figure out something I will rant about. Let's be real. Until then, have a fantastic day. You guys goddamn well freaking deserve it. The lead. Let's see if my class switches. We're gonna make sure we hit loadout. Class one. No, nothing. Again. Eight hundred and twenty one thousand six hundred bullets. That's how many bullets you didn't die from. Eight hundred seventy nine thousand six hundred bullets. That's how many bullets I shot into you.